BC, where you at, homie? Got a question? You have to unmute yourself? Or maybe you typing it. Oh, is he typing it? Yep. Let's see. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Bing, bing. Oh, yes. hey. Bing, bing, bing. Hey, sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah, I have a question about finding a niche in the conservative movement. You said that the market is kind of saturated. Is that is that is that's your contention? Um, yeah, I well, yeah. Oh no, go ahead, go ahead. You can respond to that. Oh yeah, I would just say yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of us. You know, there's a uh, lot of people trying to be the next conservative influencer or someone who puts those ideas out there in a certain way. I would say that that on the broad scale might be true but that there, it's a little bit misplaced because there's lots of things that, go, that brand themselves as conservatism to try and get the larger conservative movement on their side that isn't truly conservative. So in terms of finding a niche, I'll tell you, I, my, my question is basically wrapped up in this. Um, my grandfather taught me about American conservatism and what he told me about what happened to it is there's been a large conservative movement from like, you know, we could say the founding, but in the, fa you know, recently since the 1900s through today, bing, but it's been, bong, bong, bing, you know, bing, bing. reshaped into many different packages to where it's unrecognizable. He said that American conservatism, d due to the height of the Cold War, morphed from actual American conservatism into what it is today, which is, you know, capitalism good, communism bad, purely focused on economics, put everything else to the kibosh when American conservatism is about, you know, God, Christianity, a sense of American nationalism, patriotism, uh, family, you know, uh, community, you know, all of these things, much more than free market capitalism, big government bad, small government good. So in, I, I, my question is, in terms of finding a niche, have you found the niche in that your form of conservatism is simply you know, libertarian and neocon talking points, or is it traditional American conservatism? Well, I think it depends on your definition. Uh, I think your definition definitely had some good points, but I think there is room for these kind of things within conservatism. To say that conservatives shouldn't fight against big government because it's not what you've heard before, I think is, is not the best way to go about it. I think talking about big government and saying how bad it is is a very important thing because the big government policies are what stem from the culture, which is the you know stuff that you're talking about, which is about Christianity, family values, uh, Western civilization. I mean, those things come about from us uh, not having to rely on government. So when we have to rely on government, when the government is basically our God, then you know it seems to all link into conservatism. So in terms of the stuff that I talk about, I mean, I, I think it is an all-encompassing thing because there's a lot that goes into it. If, if you, you can, fo and again, that's your niche. If you want to focus on one thing and say, you know, focusing on Christianity and God through conservatism is my thing that I want to do, then make that your thing. You know what I mean? But you know, to say that that someone shouldn't go on and talk about big government policies because it's not necessarily what you agree with. I, I get what you're saying, that there are a lot of different ways to go about conservatism that people are branding it as, but I think that there's a lot of room for a lot of different voices within here. Now, again, I agree there are a lot of voices in the conservative movement right now who aren't conservative. I totally agree with that, and there are a bunch of Yeah, that's a, a, that's a big one. And people, who, and people who go and say that they are conservative, but they're not. I totally agree with that. But I, I just would go against the contention of a big government anti-big government conservatives because i think big government is what it's got us in this hole in a lot of ways in the first place in america the amount of debt we I, have and, and everything like that hey, so hey I, have well, to, I, I can't i can't do a follow-up i gotta move on to the next question man there's a lot of people in here right, if we have time at the end i, I have i have a question as well thanks man yo can i ask a question yo you can okay so i want to ask you like what you think it means to be like american and like a conservative because I'm pretty sure I have a different definition than you probably do. I don't think conservatism is very like libertarianism. We value things like order, hierarchy, you know, things like monoculturalism. And same with like what it means to be like an American. Like, I don't think like anybody can just be an American. I want to see what like your thoughts on that was. Well, I think anyone who's born in America is technically an American, whether or not you represent, well, whether, whether or not you represent American values is a whole different story. But from a technical standpoint, if you're born in America, you are an American. 
Yes. Well, sure, but culturally, I mean, that. you know, I can't go to Mexico and become a Mexican, right? Right, just like someone from Mexico can't come here and say I was born in America, but you could technically become a Mexican citizen. Well, sure, but I wouldn't be Mexican. Sure. I mean, I yeah. I don't understand what the point is. I mean, well, I th- I'm saying the point is I don't think anybody can just be American. Like, firstly, I think you'd have to be Christian. Well, technically, I mean, this is a Christian nation. It was well. built on Christian values. I mean, the founding fathers agree with me. They they said the Constitution was not written for an immoral nation. Right. There are things that definitely are some truth in that. I mean, the, the founding fathers knew that you don't get your rights from God. You don't get your rights from the government. You or you don't get your rights from the government or your morals from the government. You get them from God. And they totally knew they also, that. I mean, I agree with a lot of the things that you're saying. But then again, there is a obviously a separation of church and state in America where you have the freedom to do it. Now, whether or not you think that the values of Christianity that, that people in America have are the best values that they should have, I totally think so. I think that the, the Western conservative Christian values are the best values that people can have. And if you think that many of those values represent America better than a lot of the left-wing, atheist, secular values, I totally agree with that. I agree with that 100%. But from a whole technical standpoint of saying that someone cannot be an American, it is just, it is entirely untrue. But I appreciate so, your question. Okay. Thank um, you, man. I'd like to ask a question. That's a great answer. Thank you. Can, can I ask a quick question yeah. here? Sure. Yeah, thank you. Um, so I, I had a question also about your policy position. Um, I, I like your content. I've seen PragerU videos. Um, thank you. There is a PragerU video out there that was promoting um, legal immigration. Uh, and it said that the reason why we have to promote it is because it's the American thing to do and that we import tech workers, big, you know, and basketball players was the exact term they actually used. Um, and of course, Chuck Kirk said in the past, he wants to sample green cards, the back of diplomas, and wants to import 50, 50, sorry, 50 million immigrants in less than 10 years. Um, I was wondering if you think that immigration in terms of it you know, not illegal immigration, but specifically legal immigration. Do you think that legal immigration is a benefit to the country or if it's not? And if it is a benefit, how many would you want per year? Well, I can't speak, first of all, on what Charlie Kirk said. And, you know, he doesn't work for PragerU, so that's a totally separate entity to have your own opinions on. Legal immigration is a good thing, but on an individual basis. You have to look at each person individually. Okay, I don't like... I don't like saying legal immigration is good overall because obviously there are people who come here to this country who are not I good people or don't represent one. our American values. Why would you want these people in your country not representing us? It seems like a, a pretty basic thing to do. In terms of the numbers of people, I have no number. I mean, I want good people in this country who represent our values. If that means if all the people who come into this country don't represent our values and they come in legally and they don't work hard or they get benefits from the government, then I don't want them in this country. You know. It's, it's as simple as that. But if they're good people, they want to represent our values, and they want to become an American, I have, I have no problem letting them in. I don't know why anyone would have a problem. Right. It and, like it, a, a totally suitable thing. I, I would say, though, because the, the problem is that there's a concern that um, when people come in, they're taking jobs. So, for instance, let's say well, the that— The main if, problem is the main problem right now, they wouldn't be taking those jobs if Congress had a spine and wasn't in the back the back pocket of all these big corporations who are shipping all of our jobs to China. If we actually decided to bring American jobs back, I don't think there would be nearly as much of a problem. We are hollowing out the middle of this country by shipping all of our jobs away. All of the jobs that are coming up in America right now are tech jobs. And so people who are truck drivers, people who work in the middle of this country are losing their livelihood because they have no no other where to go. And then like, they have to move to big urban cities and all the big urban cities are left. They breed a bad culture and we're, we're destroying this country that way. But I don't think it's because of, of legal immigrants who actually hold our values. Legal immigrants who don't hold our values, I can see the merit for sure in that. And that's what I said. You know, I agree that they, there's no reason for them to come to this country. But I think there are a lot of other issues in just saying, you know, uh, they, they come in and take our jobs. It's a, an old Republican talking point that isn't really true anymore. You know, well, we have to well, look at the bigger issue because this is a, re- a Republican and Democrat problem that well, they've both been been working together well, to to destroy. Well, and hold well, I, I, well hold on. Uh, I, I would say this, though. Uh, you mentioned, I mean, I'm sure everybody here, I'm, I'm guaranteeing is against any outsourcing to any country uh, in, you know, in the world. But um, for instance, there's a million or so. Um, international students are here, and over 70% of those amount uh, who are international stay for over 10 years and have a job. 
um, which of course means that at some point, you know, they're they're taking an American job as described even in the recent CBO report um, about how mass immigration or even just immigration levels right now are having a downward, downward shift on wages for everybody, especially uh, low wage workers, um, because of course, big corporations benefit from mass immigration. Like I understand you're, you're saying, you know, outsourcing is bad. I agree outsourcing is bad. And I agree that big tech bing, and bing, big corporations bing, bing, bing. Are, have a lot of politicians in pockets, Republicans and Democrats. Um, but I would say that, the, again, uh, there's the Borjas had a there's a great book out there. We want workers uh, by Borjas uh, and a variety of other people who have reported on this. But immigration it really just puts a downward shift on wages. And I think it, I think it's a problem how it displaces American workers, if, especially in this time. If you don't have a job, there definitely and... are some problems. One hundred percent. I totally agree with you that that too much immigration is a bad thing. Equal, right, we've only or, got a few more minutes, but we got to get to the next question. Yeah. yeah and I okay. Thank you. Question. Holding your Quipers hand. Rise up. Tomorrow, Thanks. no matter what, you guys will get it, and you can come to the event. It'd be great. Thanks um, so much. Yeah. Thank you. America first, and uh, Nick Fuentes is amazing. Uh, thank you, Will. Thank you. Say hi to I John Doyle. Uh, I America didn't first. Nick Fuentes. America first, Will. <laughs> hey, Will, America first. This is a Christian. Oh, here we go. <laughs>